Welcome back to the channel guys. Now today we're talking tripods. Now every photographer will need a tripod at some point during his photography career. Uh, I currently use this tripod which is a cheap tripod that came with a beauty light that I ordered during COVID for video conferences. However, it is just that, it is cheap. I'm not a full-time videographer. In fact, I'm not a full-time uh, YouTuber or photographer, but I do need a decent tripod for video. I want a tripod that will stand strong, that I can use uh, to pan round for videos. I want it to be a reasonable quality. Now there's one tripod that a lot of Instagrammers I've seen using lately, and this is it. And it's on offer at the moment on Amazon. Notice it's the Victiv camera tripod. So this is my little studio that I'm kind of, is a work in progress. Yeah, that is a Lego plate, more of that later. But anyway, let's do some unboxing. So here we have the Victiv tripod. Okay, so first of all, compulsory item these days, uh, mobile phone holder. Oh, that's handy, it's got a thread on the bottom of that as well. Nice. Let's pull it over there. And then, Just a generic carry bag. Tripod. Okay. So seems pretty tough. Zip will break first, no doubt. Okay, so let's put that aside. So we've got a pan head and a handle. To be honest with you, I didn't expect much from this pan head. Mm, doesn't seem very smooth. But I do have a plan B. So let's put that to the side. More rubbish. Uh, three feet and the tripod. Aha! We do have a number. Victive NT70. So there we go. Seems pretty sturdy. Uh, and the bag, instruction manual, how to use a tripod. And, ooh, silica gel, compulsory. And we've got another quick release plate. Okay, don't need any of that. Chuck it on the floor. So we've got the tripod. So they just thread in the bottom. Got our feet on. So I actually have a slider. And I bought for the slider this Niwa pan head. Now this is a smooth pan head. I would definitely recommend this. I'm not sure I bought it on. Amazon, but I am not using the Victiv one. Uh, the Victiv one seems very, not very smooth, let's call it that. Whereas the Niwa one, whew, look at that. That's the fact you've got your levels on either side and your sliding quick release plate. So that's the pan head. Anyway, don't get distracted by that. So this is supposed to be able to go up to 73 inches, was it? I can't remember. Let's say inches for the American audience. So let's have a look, see how that works. So it's definitely tall. Now I'm six foot tall and this is definitely taller than me. So let's get the tape measure out. So, for 
for our American viewers. Uh, it's definitely 72, but with a newer head, it's probably about 74. That's pretty good. So if we're going to look at it in a bit of detail, so you've got a carry strap there, I suppose for moving it around during a shoot, uh, a level underneath quite a cool feature. Uh, you can hang a, a sack on there to hold it steady in the wind. Admittedly, that looks a bit loose. So what about the shake test? Well, I think if you put it to its full extension, you're going to get a bit of shake. But who on earth uses a tripod that high? I mean, you can't even reach it, surely. So anyway, that's the new tripod. Now I'm hoping uh, that I can use this on interviews. I've struggled in the past, uh, particularly with the cheap tripods. Uh, they're okay for just putting the DJI Mini 2 on and leaving it go, but this one hopefully will take the Sony a7 III. I'll let you know and do a six-month review on it.